Welcome to the last of our seven-part series on anticoagulants. In this video, we discuss anticoagulant reversal. Let's begin with the following take-home points. If bleeding is moderate, treat with activated charcoal and or fibrinolytics. If bleeding is life-threatening, use a reversal agent. Due to thrombosis risk, a reversal agent should not be combined with prothrombin complex concentrates. When there is moderate bleeding, Use oral activated charcoal to remove the unabsorbed prodrug from the gastrointestinal tract. This should be attempted if the ingestion was within 8 hours of rivaroxaban, 6 hours of apixaban, and 2 hours of adoxaban or dibigatran. Also, treat the bleeding patient with antifibrinolytics. Antifibrinolytics include aminocoproic acid and tranexamic acid. Additional measures are required for anticoagulated patients presenting with life-threatening bleeding or needing emergency surgery. If appropriate, first attempt treatment with oral activated charcoal and definitely treat with antifibrinolytics. However, given the life-threatening bleeding, an antidote is indicated if one is available. If no antidote is available, treat with prothrombin complex concentrates or PCCs. Let's discuss the available reversal agents. The first is vitamin K. Vitamin K reverses the vitamin K antagonists. Oral vitamin K has an onset of action of 6 to 10 hours and peaks in 24 to 48 hours. The intravenous route has an onset of 1 to 2 hours and peaks in 12 to 14 hours. Next we have protamine. Protamine reverses heparin. It is most used to reverse high-dose heparin after cardiopulmonary bypass, but it can be used to reverse heparin in any setting. Low molecular weight heparins, however, are only partially reversed. Next are the coagulation factors. These are most commonly given as fresh frozen plasma, which provides factors 2, 5, 8, 9, 10, 11, and antithrombin. Coagulation factors are also available as prothrombin complex concentrates. The three-factor concentrates have factors 2, 9, and 10, while the four-factor concentrates include factor 7. Prothrombin complex concentrates can be activated or unactivated. Finally, you can give a specific antidote. The available antidotes are idorosuzumab for dibigatran and indexinet alpha for the direct oral 10A inhibitors. Note that both idorosuzumab and indexinet alpha increase thrombosis risk. Prothrombin complex concentrates also increase thrombosis risk. Therefore, both reversal agents and prothrombin complex concentrates should not be combined. Let's look at each anticoagulant and discuss its reversal agent. Unfractionated heparin is reversed by protamine. Low molecular weight heparins are partially reversed by protamine. Fondaparinox has no reversal agent. Vitamin K antagonists are reversed with vitamin K and 4-factor prothrombin complex concentrates. Dibigatran can be reversed with idorosizumab. The oral direct 10A inhibitors apixaban, adoxaban, and rivaroxaban can be reversed with andexanet alpha. And the parenteral direct thrombin inhibitors are gatraban and bivalrudin have no known reversal agents. In summary, in an anticoagulated patient with moderate bleeding, treat with activated charcoal and or fibrinolytics. Where bleeding is life-threatening, use a reversal agent. Due to thrombosis risk, a reversal agent should not be combined with prothrombin complex concentrates. This concludes our video on anticoagulants with a focus on anticoagulant reversal.